To get started, the first thing we need to do is install the Python client wandb. We can do so by calling pip install wandb. After you've created an account, you can log in locally by calling wandb.login in Python or calling wandb login from a terminal. You can then follow the link to get your API key and paste it in the box shown. This is the same code as in our previous video, where we're using print to log our metrics and our config values are hard coded. This is that same training script, but slightly refactored to use weights and biases. To tell weights and biases that we'd like to begin to capture details of the code we're running, we want to tell it to create a run. A run is how weights and biases organizes the details of every time that you run your code. To create a run, we just call wandb.init. We've also refactored this code to gather all of our configs at the top of the script and then pass that to wandb.init. We're also referencing that same config whenever we're using those values throughout our script. Here is that same script, but refactored even further so that rather than printing our epochs and our loss throughout training, we're passing it to wandb.log in a dictionary. This is where we put metrics from our run, like the model training or validation loss. And we can call this many times when running the script. And weights and biases will store and visualize the history of each of the different metrics as we log them. Once we've done all this, we're a long way towards having reproducible experiments. In the next video, I'll run this script and I'll show you how we can get insights from the weights and biases workspace.